No one likes to face the inevitable, getting older. Trust me, I used to have a full set of hair. I understand that. But as we age, we need to think about that future. Part of that future, statistically, is thinking about preparing for long-term care. So we're gonna talk about that today, not just a little bit about long-term care, but most importantly, how do you pay for it? So sit back, grab a cup of coffee, let's go. Hello, this is Michael Loftus with Wealth and Wisdom TV, where education is the key to a successful financial future. First time here, we do educational videos like you're seeing today. Market updates, I guarantee you, we think outside the box. Straight talks, live shows, podcasts, you name it, all to help you in your financial future. So please do consider subscribing, hit, smash, crash that like button. So as I talked about in my intro, long-term care. A lot of people don't want to face it because you're thinking about the future and obviously sometimes that future has some changes we all look at, right? But at the end of the day, you have to think at it. For me, it's absolutely part of the plan. In your financial plan, we look at your investments, your legacy, long-term care. All of that has to be part of the overall financial plan. So today we're gonna go high level on long-term care, but then also, how do you pay for it? Let's go to the big board. All right, so first up, I said that I'm not gonna go detailed in the long-term care. I've got a video here in the past you can go to, get some more details, but high level, what is long-term care, okay? Ongoing services and support, right, who help you when you're older, whether in a chronic health or some type of disability, okay? three levels of care. You have skilled, intermediate, and personal, okay? Now, the key is you can have this care in several different venues, at home, assisted living, and a nursing home. I will tell you on from a personal level with my clients, I'm finding that more and more people want to stay home as long as possible and get some of that care at home, okay? So the first question is, and why this is so important, what is the cost? Now below, I'll have a link here where I got this from, but this shows you, I did a search for our area here at the Delaware beaches. The closest city is Salisbury, Maryland. And as you look here, home care, we're looking at about $54,000 a year, okay? Adult daycare, healthcare, uh, 26,000. Assisted living facility, 66,000. These are big numbers, okay? And then you go to a nursing home facility, really big number, semi-private 129, and private room is $150,000, which is up 20% just in the last three years to give you an idea how bad this is. Now, what this website can do is you can take your area and then you can go out to the future. And this is where it really gets scary. So if you're watching this today and you're in the 50, 60 year old range, I went out 20 years and look at the cost. I mean, essentially they're doubling, okay? So we went from 54 to 98 on home, homemaker services, 54 to 99, home health aid, uh, adult health care, assisted living. I mean, double, 100% in the next 20 years, and the same goes. Private room, $266,000 a year for a private room 20 years from now. Yowza right? That's why it's important to think about this and prepare for it, okay? So a couple things, you know, how does it work? Again, more details in that video, right? You have to be in reasonably good health. This is why I think it's important to look at this sooner than later. If you can do it in your 50s, I think that's a real good idea, okay? Definitely in the 60s, uh, mid-60s. Now, things have changed. I'll talk about that in a second, uh, so it's a little bit easier to get, but uh, it's age-based, so again, why you want to do it early, okay? Benefit is triggered when you hit your ADLs, which is activities, six activity daily livings, okay? If you need help with two out of the six, then you will be able to turn this policy on, okay? And then you have an elimination period, generally going to be 30 days, and that's because in the beginning, Medicare will cover some things, or Medicaid, and then if you have this, this will kick in after that waiting period. 
So some of the options out there today, all right? Uh, you know, number one is a traditional long-term care policy I won't recommend, okay? The reason being is those policies that our clients have in force today are skyrocketing. The companies that did this back in the day, right, didn't actuarially prepare for people to live in their 80s and 90s, okay? So these policies, traditional policies, last about 2.7 years, okay? Number one, not a long time. And number two is they're just blowing up. So the companies have gotten rid of benefits, got rid of inflation riders, all kinds of different things. So the best option today, you know, the insurance industry, like a lot of industries, has evolved and they've come up with hybrid policies, combination of life and long-term care. And I like that as the best option. Why? Well, because if you don't use it, it can still be passed on as a death benefit, okay? So again, if you have a $300,000 policy, let's say you use 100,000, 200 still goes to your beneficiaries tax-free, okay? And the other reason I like this with life side of things, a lot of changes going on with the new administration and the state tax, and we know that that's gonna sunset in 2025 where uh, estate plans, you, know, you can only have about $625,000. Today, it's 11 million per person. So I think that makes a lot of sense, okay? And there's different ways you can do it. You could do monthly pay plans, uh, excuse me, yearly. Then you could do 10-year pay, lump sum. There's a lot of different options. Some you can buy that have better, bigger life benefits, okay, that can be drawn down. Some don't have a big life benefit but have a much larger long-term care benefit. It really comes down to you and your, your dollars that you have, how much we can put towards it is something I'll get into uh, in a second, okay? So here, you know, we're gonna pay out of pocket. You know, one of the things we'll get into, I mean, I'm not pushing this, that's for sure, nor am I uh, involved in this business, but sometimes the largest asset somebody has is their home. So reverse mortgage is something that can be utilized. Now, I know that's a dirty word, but it has changed significantly, the industry. You know, because of some of the issues, like a lot of industries, they've come in with some oversight. So there are some reasons why it makes a lot of sense to utilize this as an option. All right, next up, we have Medicaid. Now, the thing with Medicaid, it's means-based, right? So for some of the folks that are at lower income bracket, this might be your only option, but at least you do have an option. So there are some things that'll take care of, it'll pay, okay? Covers approximately 49% of all nursing home costs. So there are some options here for some lower income folks. Next, we have Medicare, okay? Now it's interesting, I've always been health licensed. I was gonna get into uh, Medicare as an option just to make it easy for my clients, but wholly confusing and options. But the bottom line is, you know, Medicare is available, Okay, and I talked about that waiting period. So this is where they pay about three days of hospitalization, full cost of skilled nursing home for only 20 days. And that's where that wait period with the individual policy. So you wanna think about that, make sure you're aware of that policy. Pays partial from 21 to 100, pays nothing after 100 days. Again, that's where the long-term care comes in, if possible, and I'm gonna discuss that as well. Right, doesn't pay for personal custodial care or home health benefits. So really the best way to pay for it is to have some type of policy, okay? Again, I looked at the numbers. I showed you the numbers. They're pretty significant, okay? So if you look at today investing $3,000 a month at 5% after tax, you're looking at about $105,000, okay? But if you take that same amount, right, and I actually increase it a little bit, okay, and I say $5,000, you could generally find a policy. This is uh, not a guarantee, Everyone's situation's different, again, based on age, health factors, but, you know, I use a factor of about 1% of your assets, okay? I take 1% of your assets and I direct that into a long-term care policy. So if you have 500,000, 5,000. You have a million, right? There you go, 10,000, all right? Pretty easy to understand. And then that way, it's not affecting your overall budget, right? And we plan for that in our financial plan but you can get a policy like this and could cover upwards of four, three to $400,000 of benefit. But here's the thing, when I look at this overall, 
I have my financial plan, you have your investments, right? And in that financial plan, we talk about long-term care, and then we talk about also legacy planning. So for me, when we get older, I want our clients to have the most options possible. So you might have the policy, and the, re the reason I like the hybrid, let's say you have a four, five, six hundred thousand dollar life insurance policy with a long-term long -term care option. In that case, in that time, we might say, hey, let's keep it there, draw down your IRA, depending, you know, and look at the tax consequence, okay? Because when you pass that, your IRA, right? Your children, beneficiaries have 10 years, that could be a big tax hit. So what I like about this is having this option is having options, right? More than just one options of paying down this or paying down that. This brings in a third option, and you have to look at it on an ROI. If I show you an ROI, and when you do an illustration, it'll show you how much you put in, and let's say that death benefit is 400000 Well, in the first year, the return on investment is very high. If you pass away, it goes down. But the ROI is still generally higher than we've seen long-term in the market. So wrapping things up, yes, difficult conversation, but it should be part of everybody's plan. You should be thinking about it and how to pay for it. And hopefully today we showed you a couple of options. If you need help on this, feel free to give us a call. Michael Loftus, Wealth and Wisdom TV.